Everybody has their own particular prayer card that you keep with you. We're going to use this at the end of the homily. And you remember about eh, two months ago, I taught you a song. The song was the Gloria. It went like this. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. We're going to sing that at the outset of Mass rather than at the usual spot where the Gloria is. I'll sing the verses, and I expect you to sing loudly because it's a song of joy, okay, uh, at the refrain. Welcome once again to prayer this morning as we pray the Eucharist and in a special way we pray to Our Lady of La Salette, um, our patrons as missionaries of Our Lady of La Salette. Our spirituality is built okay, on the apparition of Mary, a spirituality that at its heart has the, the notion and the reality of reconciliation prominently. And so during this Easter season, we rejoice with Mary as she rejoices with her son who is raised from the dead. And we begin with a song, uh, the Gloria. Well, let us stand and let us sing. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria, 
chances fail, Lord God, Heavenly King, peace you bring to us. We worship you, we give you thanks, we sing our song of praise. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Jesus, Savior of all, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away our sins, O Lord, have mercy on us all. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you as we gather again in God's presence to pray. We welcome God's mercy, God's forgiveness, and God's great understanding of who we are into our hearts. We remember that Jesus, though resurrected, is still a human being, uh, and he was one of us, so he knows about our failures he knows about our weaknesses and that is what we bring as we ask forgiveness for our sins lord have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life Amen. let us pray O oh God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach eternal joys. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And a man, crippled from birth, was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, 
and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leaped up, stood and walked around, and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name, make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Rejoice, O heart, that seek the Lord. He remembers forever his covenant which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. Rejoice, O hearts that, that seek the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them named Cleopas said to him in reply, are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place in these days? And he replied to them, what sort of things? They said to him, the things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it's now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. 
They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke! Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther, but they urged him, stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. And with that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. But he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us, while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found, gathered together, the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. Gospel of the Lord. As missionaries of La Salette, we are making the connection between the readings and the apparition of Our Lady. So I'd like to begin by reading something short here. Our text is found in the account given by the Emmaus disciples of what had recently happened in Jerusalem. Is it far-fetched to imagine that part of their pain came from a deep sense that they had been betrayed by their religious leaders. These disciples do not refer to the chief priests and leaders, but to our chief priests and leaders. How could it all have gone so wrong? How could the one who seemed to fulfill their messianic hopes and dreams be destroyed by the very guardians and teachers of their faith including faith in the expected Christ. The two disciples welcomed the stranger into their fear, doubts, and disillusionment. Jesus, the stranger, reviews the scripture passages relating to the Messiah and helps them to see how the events of recent days fulfill the predictions of the prophets. What is more, he set their hearts on fire. They understood the deeper meaning of those events. Their hope reborn. They rushed back to Jerusalem to share their experience with the other disciples. Easter's living light had now pierced the darkness of their despondent feelings of betrayal. The Lasselet event, like other officially recognized apparitions, new stormy beginnings. But even before canonical approval had been given, thousands flocked to the favored mountain and felt their hearts catch fire as the words Mary had spoken there helped them to understand the meaning of contemporary events and their link to the providence of God. Many hurried down from the mountain and shared their experience with others. I think the emotion that connects all these readings uh, is the emotion of amazement and joy at finding out that what you thought was true 
really was. Despite people telling you or showing you or events saying it wasn't. It wasn't. Jesus really did rise from the dead. There really was an apparition of Mary at La Salette in 1846 and two very small children led the rest of their lives in their own simple, very simple way, letting people know that it happened. And despite their fear, their despondency, 2,000 some years ago, the original disciples and apostles began to spread the news that Jesus Christ really was raised by God the Father from the dead. And for them, it was a fire that caught their hearts and made them move. As a priest, as a Catholic, as a Christian, you know, I've been celebrating Easter many, many years, and the same stories keep coming back. And the fire that was lit some 2,000 years ago still burns in our hearts. It still burns there. The message of Mary at La Salette that was somehow irrigated by her tears, tears of concern for you and for me are still there for me in the same way that Jesus died because of his love for me and for you and for us all, the fire is still there. The same can be said of Mary. She continues to come and to be with us at La Salette, at Lourdes, in Mexico, in Ireland, all over the world. The kingdom of heaven is among us. Jesus is still with us as well as Mary. Today, think of the fire that is in your heart. Think of the fire that God has put there. Think of the fire that God wants you to live out and to be nourished with as you continue your daily lives, your ordinary lives. Let this ordinariness be lit by the fire that comes from inside. Amen. So let us pray, let us pray our prayer for the 175th anniversary of the La Salette apparition. Mary, Mother of Reconciliation, in this time of celebration, we rejoice that the Father asked you to carry out his plan of salvation. The Son chose you to be his mother and his first disciple. The Holy Spirit fashioned you into his living temple, our sister in faith. At La Salette, with abundant tears of mercy, you spoke to the two poor children in their own language and urged us to share your message of peace and hope. With needy people of every culture and nation, pray for us to your loving Son, that we may draw all your people closer to him. Amen.
We take a moment now when we bring our prayer petition before the Lord. For our leaders in the church, that they may be filled with the spirit of wisdom that spoke in Jesus when he explained the scriptures to his own, kindling the fire that the first disciples felt burning inside them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are distressed and despairing may be met with respect and compassion until their hope is restored and peace is made possible. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick in body or soul who sit begging while so many pass them by, that there may be for them Christians like Peter and John who see them stop and give them what they have in the name of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all of us sharing the, this Eucharist, that we may come to know our risen Lord in the breaking of the bread and be ready to get up and spread the good news, unafraid of the darkness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those in need of the Lord's healing, including Barbara Pammer, Susie Hoppy, Jay Davis, Ray Capus, Robert Murphy, Melissa Cavita, Leo and Carol Rollman, Susan Miriani, and those in our book of prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Don Marchand, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of our planet and the many people who serve in essential services, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We bring these prayers not only through the Lord Jesus, but also Mary, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in whom and hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. by the mystery of this water and wine. May we come to share in the divinity of Christ who came to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of our hands, it will become for us cup of salvation, our spiritual drink. Be pleased with this sacrifice, Lord, that we bring to you from your people, from our hearts, help us to catch fire. Sisters and brothers, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Accept in compassion, Lord, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly, it is right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this time, on this day, and in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for well, this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new, the eternal covenant. It will be shed for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Together we proclaim the mystery of our faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Conjuring up the fire of those Emmaus disciples, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you, look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church gathered here, grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins, from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching. Never let us be parted from you. This is the Lamb of God, Jesus, the one who takes away our sin but brings fire into our hearts. Blessed are we gathered at his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter unto my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of the Lord bring us all unto life everlasting. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Only this I want but to know to 
me for to gain the Lord is to gain all I need only this I want but to know to bear his cross, so to wear the crown he wore. I will run the race, I will fight the good fight, so to win the prize of the kingdom of my Lord only this I want but to know the Lord and to bear his cross so to wear the crown he wore let your heart be glad, always glad in the Lord, so to shine like stars in the darkness of the night, only this I want, but to know bear his cross so to wear the crown he Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray our prayer to St. Michael. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. I want to sing a song to Our Lady. It's called the Ave of La Salette. It narrates the story of Mary with a refrain we all know. A beautiful lady appeared in such light that two little shepherds were awed by the sight. Ave, ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. 
Come dear little children, do not be afraid. I bring you such good news, she lovingly said. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. To all my people, God's mercy I speak, if they in their own hearts, God's pardon will see. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. Pray well then, my children, at morn and at night, and open your hearts to be changed in God's sight. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. I'll be in a confessional in a little while. was something I missed. Thanks for reminding me. 